por aquí rueda y usted puede Ah, ok. Ya. Yeah. Esa es la única... La guía esa. Ya. Yeah. Look ahead, look ahead. Good morning, internet. It is seven o'clock in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Hey, sweetie, how are you today? Hmm? Such a beautiful dog. So, welcome here in uh, Colombia. Where am I? Salento. Very cute little place. Today I'm hitting the road and I'm going to see about breakfast first. And this is for breakfast. We got a coffee. It seems to be a typical Colombian breakfast. Some scrambled eggs, some... Um, yeah, this, this type of bread has a name, but I keep on forgetting it. Uh, with cheese and then some more bread and then uh, a little uh, fruit bowl. All right, so have a look at the map. So uh, this is Colombia. Uh, I came here from uh, Ecuador side and I am now right here in Salento. So this is uh, what I did in the last video. And so it was only this little part which took me like, I think four, four and a half hours to complete. Um, anyway, I can now turn around the map because this is also on the other side of the map. So this is the same, the same part. So I'm now over here. That means that I am already halfway Colombia. And the ride for today, today I want to, my goal is to reach Medellin. But before I go to Medellin, I want to go to this tiny place over here, which is called Amaga. Amaga, I think, yeah, Amaga. And so, how will I ride? Not really sure, but anyway, <laughs> I think some of these roads uh, try to reach Amaga and then continue on to Medellin. I already put my <laughs> rain jacket on because as I am about to leave, it's not raining slightly. Gracias. Ciao. Adios. All right, before I actually leave Salento, I'm just going to ride to the main square and get some. Uh, money out of the ATM and will also give us another opportunity to check out this town because it's really it's cute it has all these really lovely houses so uh, it's quite nice to do like one little circle see look at this very cute Go there with uh, Alaska. I need to be uh, the ATM is just over there. Look at this. <laughs> it almost seems like a fairy tale, fairy tale house or something, right? It almost doesn't look real. Um, oh, I'm going against traffic. Oh. I'll just uh, park Alaska here. This is the main square. Look at that. Cool, right? Cajero. It's done. National Police Station. See, that's what I meant the other day, with this ugly, ugly green police bikes. What are they even? Suzuki. I don't know. But like, that color green, it's horrendous. Okay, let's go. Ciao. Actually, actually, no, before I can go, I need to fuel up as well. Somewhere. Surely 
There must be a petrol station somewhere here. Look, they even painted the hospital nicely. Hospital San Vicente de Paul. And then the pizzeria is pink. <laughs> I love it. Ah, ha. <laughs> Found it. Here it is. El precio de diesel y corriente es igual. No, no. Sí. Ah, porque aquí dice 9000. Oh no. Ah, 100 pesos. Solamente. 100 pesos es la diferencia. Sí. Ah, es poco. Sí. Sí, puede ser más, más hasta lleno, lleno. Chao. ¿Qué fue? Right, now we really go. Okay, so today's ride, it's 255 kilometers to Amarga. And uh, I don't know exactly how, how much further to Medellin after that. So our road works here. It's interesting here in Colombia, everybody has their, the license plate of their, uh, their plate number of their bike. They have it on the back of their helmets. <laughs> Must be obligatory because I see all of them having it <laughs> except me. And we're off. Nobody even waited for the, <laughs> the poor man with the with the green sign. Okay, and passing through a little town I do not know the name of. Fredonia. Fredonia. Oh, there we go. This is uh, the tunnel. Can't see anything. Hola. So I'm now riding actually on the old railway that used to uh, run in this part of uh, Colombia and it used to be very important for trade and uh, all of the coffee and uh, other produce that uh, were, was grown here and in other areas was all uh, transported by this uh, railway line and <laughs> Yeah, I've reached the, the viaduct. This is where the train will pass as well. Buenos! Buenos dias! Como esta? Bien. Puedo cruzar? Oh. Si. Sí. Todas en motos pasan, todas. Todas en motos pasan. Ok. <laughs> No, no. Apoya los pies en los rieles. Fue por acá, ¿no? Aquí. Sí, es alta ya. Está por aquí rueda y usted puede hacer. Ah, ok. Ya. Yeah. Esa es la única. La guía, esa. Ya. Yeah. Dale. Cuando pasan carros se pasan por la orilla de agua. Sí. Ah, pasan carros también. Bien. Uy. Para acá. Ah. ah. Una llanta por acá. Ya. Yeah. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Y pueden pasar. 
¿Cuántos años después el tren pasa? Como 40. Hubo oh, tren por aquí hasta el 76. En 76 es el último año. El último año que hubo tren. Ah. O sea que 24 y 21. 45 años hace que no hay tren. Ah. Que se por acá. Y toman todas las maderas, ¿no? Ah, vea cómo está esto. No, pero... Ah, es suficiente para pasar. Sí, claro, hija. Ah, es su casa aquí. Qué lindo lugar. Ay, hermosa, ¿no? Ok. Bueno. ¿Tú estás para Medellín? Sí. Sí. Allá por aquí de subir arriba, camino. Sí, pr primero me gustaría visitar a, a Maga. Amaga, sí, ahí está la entrada. Puede pasar por aquí, por Amaga, ¿no? Por aquí, sube arriba. Y sube a Camilo y a la, a la izquierda, ahí está la entrada para Amaga. Ok, ¿Sí? bueno. Bueno. <risa> Voy a probarlo. Ok, ok. Balance, balance. Look ahead, look ahead. Don't look down. Don't look down. <laughs> What did I say? Don't look down. Look ahead, look ahead. Uy. Oh man. Okay. Keep on going. Keep on going. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Look ahead. Almost there. Almost there. Oh. <laughs> oh. I made it. Oh. Well, survived that one. So it was thanks to this railway line, which used to be here a long time ago, that the coffee production in this region could grow really quickly. I, th I believe they mainly transported coffee, uh, but also sugar cane, for example. And uh, there was a line between Medellin and Cali. I think that's the one that uh, passed through here. But. Uh, Hola. There was a, oh, here's another uh, railway tunnel. Look at that. Woo! Bop, bop. Now, I don't have to be afraid that the train is going to come the other way. That's good. Here's another one. Oh, Woo! beautiful waterfall. Sorry, I missed it. Hola. Oh, another one.
Oh, one more? Wow, I had no idea it was so many. So at some point this road should lead to the town, Amaga, another tunnel. See, if I am not mistaken, those are sleepers from, um, from the train tracks. I heard about this, that now uh, in this area you now have... Uh... Hola! Una pregunta. Esta madera es de originalmente de, de, de tren, ¿no? Sí. Sí. Todavía usan ese. Eso ya lo utilizan como para mesas. Pues para hacer cosas artesanales. Pero todavía puede encontrar madera de, de tren. Ah, por ahí usted a veces la encuentra por ahí en esa carretera. Ah. O por la antigua vía. O por También se puede uno encontrar Ay. madera. ¿Ustedes trabajan aquí? Sí. Para hacer uh, mesas y todo. Mesas, tauretes, lo que usted quiera de madera. Ah, no. Eso se hace. Oh. Ok. Mucho gusto. Gracias. Chao. It's just interesting how kind of history is being recycled, right? So now the wood that was on the train tracks is now being used to make furniture. And uh, everywhere around here, there's uh, here as well. It's, uh, shops here making furniture they probably also use uh, other wood uh, by now but they still use the sleepers that were from the original uh, train tracks so maybe you can buy a table here or a chair made from the original train tracks here between Medellin and Cali it's really cool Para Amaga. Sí, siga derecho. Ok, ok. Derecho para arriba. Gracias. Yeah, I'm still going the right way. Oh. Wow, what a beautiful horse. Qué caballo lindo. Wow. Stunning horse. I am close to Medellín and uh, Traffic is uh, pretty crazy up here. Okay, so a lot has happened and I didn't film any of it. Uh, it all happened in the pouring, pouring rain. There were rivers on the road and I was just trying to protect my audio equipment. Um, so I took my cameras off. But um, yeah, so I went to Medellin. I rode around and I, for the life of me, I could not find accommodation. The first two places that I checked were not there anymore. Um, then I checked two places, they were full. And then I thought, you know what, let me just make a quickly make a booking on booking.com. And uh, I tried that twice as well. And then when I got there, they were like, oh no, actually we don't have a room. So <laughs> I was like, what is going on? So in the end, I rode around Medellin for two and a half hours in the pouring, pouring rain. The traffic was absolutely horrendous and I couldn't find anything. And suddenly I found myself getting closer to nighttime. And this is very rare. That's why I normally always try to stop like early afternoon. So I have plenty of time to find myself a place to stay. 
and suddenly it's five o'clock and I'm still riding around Medellin and some of the streets I was riding through I was thinking oh this is not a great place to be uh, I need to get out of here before it's dark because I have no idea where I am so I made the very strange decision to ride back <laughs> back south 20 kilometers uh, because I knew I passed this place uh, and it looked kind of normal, kind of fine, okay, not too busy, not too crowded. So I thought, yeah, I can ride further, I can go past Medellin, but then I have no idea what I'm going to encounter. I don't know how the road is, if there's any, like, I just don't know. So I thought, I'm going to go back to what I know. And uh, yeah, and then I found this place. This is my room. <laughs> Some very nice uh, styling. But anyway, the main thing is that I actually have a room. And um, and then I had to park Alaska in a parking place uh, just one block away. It's a secure parking, I think. It's like an underground thing. Um, so yeah, what an ordeal. <laughs> anyway, I'll just have to tell you like this because yeah, I didn't capture any of it, but uh, it wasn't fun. I, that's all you need to know. Just imagine pouring rain and just traffic, traffic, on all sides, everybody's driving like a maniac around here. <laughs> so um, yeah, anyway, and that was a bit of a strange ending to my day, which otherwise was pretty nice. I really enjoyed the whole area around uh, Amarga, um, but uh, no, Amaga, I'm saying it wrong again. Amaga, but uh, anyway. And now, by the way, I'm in uh, Caldas, so which is just a little bit north of uh, Amaga and just a little bit south of Medellin. And actually, originally my plan was in the next video to do like a little tour of Medellin and like go see some places. And now I'm like, what was I thinking? It's just a massive big city and I have no desire to go there again. I'm sorry, all the Colombian people from Medellin. <laughs> um, it was not a pleasant experience just driving around uh, because the traffic is so horrendous. So that was it for today. I'm going to end this video now. I am shattered. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.